G'day, g'day. How are we all? Welcome back to another episode of some Mice and Macar. Last episode, we left off... Well, it was a bit of a chill episode. Uh, we reached uh, episode 30. Yeah, last episode, it was a bit of a chill episode. We tried to do the fish for Grandma. We got ripped off and didn't get any money. So, basically, we are left with the same amount of money as before. And we've got a job to do today, and that is we are going to be getting some wrecked cars. And I just realized that fish did not despawn. That's weird. I usually... pretty sure fish usually despawn after you save the game. Interesting. Okay. Anyways, um... But yeah, so... We're going to grab our fish here. And our beer and our chips and yeah we're just gonna we're gonna go for a, a, a drive the wrecked car that we're planning to get is um i want to i want to get like the first best one or the second best one i know where the satsuma one is and i know where the little uh the little wrecked car is one spot i haven't checked is the around the corner after grandma's house there's a, um, there can be a wrecked car that spawns there. Uh, either the really good one or the second best one. But, I want to give that spot a look. Because, usually, it's pretty common. I usually, every game I usually have sometimes. So, we're going to have this truck warm up though. Give it a few revs. All right, there we go. Ready to go now. Let's, uh, whoops. Going low here. We're gonna go... We're gonna, we're gonna chuck a, like a bit of a three-point turn here. If we can, without tipping the truck over. Make sure no one's behind us. Oh, we seem to have run up something here. Uh, I'm going to drop the rear axle, see if we can... What are we stuck on? Okay, I'm no longer stuck. That's good. Oh no, we might have to... Yeah, we're going to have to drive in front of your house, mate. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really do apologise. It's all right though. I'll uh, I'll make sure I uh, clean up your poop next time I get the call off you. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the highway to the shops, uh, Timo's shop, and we're gonna get some fuel for the truck, and we're gonna head out to that to that spot that I mentioned earlier, where a car could possibly be. So our bumpers should be here. Okay, there's one there. And... Okay, there's one there. Okay, so both of our bumpers are on the bridge there to our left. I don't know if you saw them or not. They were pretty hard to see, but... They were both there, which is good. They're not on the road. They're, like, just off the road. Sort of, like, really close to the end of the bridge. So no AI will be able to run it over and, you know, glitch it through the world or anything. So that's good. Oh, hey, how are we? So yeah, um, I've usually gone like to that little barn thing there, or the shed, I've gone to that one there as well, like in a few different games I've had before, looking for wrecked cars, and I've never found any there, so I'm not going to really bother, I'm not going to really bother going up there looking for a wrecked car, because I've never ever found one up there before, so, oh there's a cop, oh I saw him, 
I saw him. Oh no, he might have clocked me. I don't know. He might have clocked me for speeding. I really hope I wasn't speeding. I think I was doing like 90Ks when I just saw him. Oh no, and I've had a bit to drink as well. This is not good. I'm not, I'm not insanely like drunk or anything. I've had like two or three drinks. Hello yeah. officer. Good day, good day. Look, I've had like two drinks. I'll be, uh, I'll be honest, officer. Uh, and how we looking? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, two drinks, officer. Two drinks. That's not enough to, uh, that's not enough to find me. I don't think. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna reverse so I don't hit the officer. Okay, I'm definitely gonna hit him. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's... Oh, no, look out. Oh, come on, mate. Seriously? All right. That's all right. We can always just... You know... Excuse me, mate. Coming through. Coming through. Yep. Don't mind me, officers. <laughs> that was a pretty bad time for, uh, for me to pull out there. That guy there sort of blocked me. Anything good on the radio? Oh. Tunes. Oh, whoops. I was trying to put it in like uh, sixth gear, but I was in like I was trying to put it in seventh, and I accidentally put it in reverse. Oh, I just got rear-ended. Uh oh, it's the cops. Oh no, I don't even have my seatbelt on. Oh, and there's a bus coming the other way. Oh my god. Jesus. Where's the Where's the copper? Is he still Is he still behind me? He is. Hold on, I might have to do some, uh, something a little risky here. This is so dumb. <laughs> there. Have a good day, mate. Give him a wave. See, that is illegal. Well, actually, I don't think I was uh, crossing solid lines there, so... Didn't even have his lights or sirens on. I mean, he, he re-ended me. Mace. Alright. Took forever to get in the gear there. Wow, we are really low on fuel. <laughs> like, really low. Oh, this is not good. There we go. Mace, what a drive. What a crazy drive. Alright. So, we're gonna... Fuel is a bit up there. So, we're gonna spend 172 marks on fuel. And hopefully we'll have enough fuel to actually be able... Like, if... If the truck ends up running out of fuel by the time we return the wrecked car to uh, Flataris, we should be right. Because all we gotta do is get, like, the gasoline can for the diesel one. Not the gasoline can, sorry, the diesel can. And basically fill it up with the truck bit by bit until we get back to the, you know, petrol station and get that sorted. Wow. I thought we were going over there, but nah. Now, here's the thing. We could steal fuel from uh, old mate, uh, Timo. But uh, once again, I don't want to get fined and I don't want to go to jail because uh, it's just, you know, that's just rough. <laughs> Even though we could actually... I don't know how long it takes 
until you got to actually pay for the fuel again. So, hmm. I don't know. Okay. 171. Uh, yep. We'll do that. Uh, we shouldn't be over 172 marks. Uh, hey, how are we, Potari? Uh, 170. Okay. Um, we need one yeast, but, eh. I got one dollar. <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I talking about, mate? Anyway, have a good one, eh? Yep. Give him a wave. Yep. Alright. Big rig. Uh, we got some fuel. That's good. Let's hope it's enough to uh, get to a wrecked car. I'm really hoping that wrecked car that I'm talking about is going to be there. Because if not, oh, we might be actually in some trouble here. We might have to get another one. Another wrecked car. Oh, wow. I'm not going to make that. All right, we're going to take the highway. And we're going to turn off. We're going to turn off from the where the airport is. Well, to where the airport is. And we're going to follow the dirt road. And head towards Grandma's house. And then on the way there, we should be able to find it. The Green Menace, here he comes. Hey, how are we? Man, I'm just really, really hoping we can actually make some money in today's episode. We got one dollar. Like, that is actually really bad. One dollar. <laughs> this is the poorest we're going to get ever in the series. Like, mate. Our stats are looking good. Uh, thirst is a bit up there, but that's fine. We could always drink beer. Hunger's on the low, which is really good. So as long as the hunger can stay down, that's all that matters, really. That's all that matters. Wee woo, wee woo. So I reckon if if we want to get a wrecked car, we definitely want to take the highway because that would just make it much easier for us. Because since now that you can actually snap the the towing rope, pretty much that just you know makes things much more difficult. I think it's, it's over to the left here. I think. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yes. Very good. All right. So the wrecked car was here. That's amazing because we can uh, we can work with this. It's refusing to get in the gear. I really hate how this truck works. Uh oh, not good, not good. So we wanna like, there's a lot of trees around here so it's gonna make it pretty hard to get out of here. Uh, is that a solid tree? Nope, it's not, good. All right, let's uh, get close enough. Park and brake on. And yep, let's let's hook on the let's hook this on. 
Boom, there we go. Nice. Alright, so we are gonna go. I wanna go left. I'm gonna go left because I wanna go on the highway as soon as I can. Okay, uh, we might have to go on low here because we're on some like, we're on dirt here. Turn that off. It's a little bit distracting. Uh, since we're going in a straight line with the thingo, we should be able to go through these trees here. Alright, let's hop in high now. Oh, nope. It's gonna, it's gonna do that. Okay. Alright, we're still connected. Good. Alright. So, that there is about 32,000 marks. No, not, sorry, no, 3,200 marks, I mean. That's gonna get, that's gonna get us a lot of money. I definitely want to keep a good eye on it because I don't want to drive without having this connected. I want to go at a moderate speed. So it's not like, you know... Alright, good. We're still on. Oh, ho, ho. this is looking good. This is looking good. We're really low on fuel. But, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep pushing. Man, this truck's actually it's having a hard time pulling this uh, this wrecked car. I forgot how much it weighs. I looked it up the other day, and what's it called? I forgot how much it weighs. Because different uh, different wrecked cars weigh like different amounts. So yeah, we want to go left. So pretty much here we can just speed on through. We don't really need to worry about the calf like really hooking on to anything. So as long as we can keep this in a straight line, we should be set. We don't want cars coming like the other way and then clipping on like the Satsuma did just about in the last episode. Oh, actually episode 29. We got the uh, shift gears there. This truck's actually having a hard time towing this. I feel like maybe he like adjusted it or something because it's awfully like, this truck is like huge and it's, you know, it's just, it's pulling like a car size sort of, oh no, I can't reach my beer. Okay, we've got a car behind us. Oh, I can't reach that beer. Oh, look out! Oh, that was close. I don't like that music. I feel... Oh, my God! Green Menace, look out! Change lanes or something! Oh, my God. 
I was just about to say the song that's playing is currently foreshadowing and oh my god I couldn't even say the word and it already happened <laughs> someone was gonna die Wow oh my <laughs> that's that's pretty funny that's pretty funny couldn't even say the word and it, it already happened not to me but man I really want to pull over and drink some beer, but I think I think what's more important is that we get the truck as far as we can to our dis oh, as close as we can, I mean, to our destination. Hey, how are we? How was the traffic back there, mate? Pretty good or what? Come on, I just want one beer! Uh, Alright, I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna pull over. Just really quickly. Whoops. Got me indicator on. Yep. There we go. Alright. So our thirst is currently being sorted, which is good. Man, we might honestly not be able to make it. I don't think we will. Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to lift up the rear axle because we don't really need it down anymore. We're going so slow, man. We're going like 40 k's an hour. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hey, how are we, mate? Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, this is, this is actually, oh man, this is so, so rough, like, we're in the, ever since we left jail, it's just been so, so bad, we've had the worst luck, honestly. Oh well, we may as well get as close as we can to our destination, and yeah. It's currently winter in Australia, and man, oh man, it is cold, man. I tell you, it is cold. I forgot to put on some, like, socks, and my feet are just so cold right now. And I'm, I'm like, using these pedals, which is, like, really cold as well. So... Yeah, it's currently in a little bit of pain. <laughs> G'day, mate. How are we? Oh, we're so close. So close to being empty, man. I've been in this situation before where I've had the truck and I've like, I really wanted to get the Flataris and it's just like, nah, didn't make it. So if we can get somewhere close to the bridge, that would be great, honestly. 
Actually, we're going this way, so we won't even make it to we won't even make it to the bridge. We'll be like, we'll be at the turn before the bridge, sort of thing. I will put beer in the fuel tank if that's what it takes. <laughs> Not actually, that would be that would be pretty uh, pretty silly. Oh no, we're on the line. We are on the line. A little bit above that. Oh my god, we're so close. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're so close. Show me the bridge! Come on! It's, there it is! Wait, no. There it is! There's the bridge! Oh my god, we, we might just make it, I don't know. Please don't do me like this game, please. I beg of you, I just need some money. That's all I want. Come on. We're running out of fuel. The engine's like stuttering. Come on, please. Please. Keep going. Uh-oh. No, we're going again. We're going again. No. Damn it. I tried to put it in second gear, but it did that thing where it wanted like a certain amount of RPMs. No. Oh my god, we were so close! We All we had to do was go downhill, and... Oh, wow. That is so unfortunate. We can push it, but that's going to be completely, like... That's just going to be suffering. That's just going to be terrible. Oh my god, we were so close! Honestly, I would prefer this than being stuck on the highway, to be honest. Because... Man, that means we would have to get, like, more fuel for the, uh, what's it called? Thingo. I don't know, maybe we could use the Ferndale to possibly tow it. I really don't know. I don't think that, uh, I think the, the Ferndale is actually, actually one of the worst cars you can use to tow a wrecked car. Pretty sure. I want to give it a shot, though. I want to give it a shot, just because I'm, I'm that desperate. Cousin's coming around the corner, which is great. Hey. G'day, mate. Oh, we're going to hit our Satsuma there. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I might just, like, park up the front here and sort of see if I can actually at least pull it. I doubt this is going to work, but we've got to try. We've got to try at least. Got to bring it a bit closer. Oh, are you serious? This game's actually like... Come on... Damn it. Alright, come on. 
with the power of the V8. I don't know if this is a V8. Maybe it is. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> it's not even pulling. Uh, we might go forward a bit and then see if we can sort of... Not very effectively. Yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should just, um, we should try the other way, I reckon. Just have it where it's connected to the rear end. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I think this is a waste of time. I reckon we should just do it by hand, but, um, oh, if I can get it out of gear, actually, that would be great. There we go. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon we'll just do it by hand because, honestly, this isn't working. It's a waste of, waste of fuel, really. So. Let's return this. We've got to get that wrecked car here, no matter what. Honestly... No matter how painful it is, because we are so close, so, so close, and with the amount of money we're going to get from this wrecked car, we, it will save us, it will save us, we'll be able to get the house back up and running, we'll be able to get, buy some food, we'll be, we'll be basically back on, back up on our feet, to get ourselves back in shape, so, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm I'm not gonna obviously you know show you me just pushing this thing over and over and over. So I'm gonna cut it to where I am basically when we've brought this over to the shop. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, well, there it is. Man, my arm is. I'm so like man. I'm so tired from after doing that. I, like, look at that. I went from all the way there, all the way there, just by pushing it. Man, I am, like, really worked up after that, eh? <laughs> my, my right arm is just so, like, sore from just flicking it up and down, up and down, just trying to flip it. So, that should be a good enough distance for the game to render that I've actually, you know, brought this here. So, yeah, um... Honestly, I reckon we might end it off here because my arm is extremely uh, sore. And I reckon we're going to wrap up things today. Uh, the episode's gone on for quite a bit. And there's really not much we can really do at the moment. As, you know, we've got to wait till the next day for Flatari to open up and then we'll get the money. And then we'll be set. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get ourselves all sorted out. And yeah, so, so if you did enjoy today's episode... Be sure to like if you didn't dislike. Comment down below if you have any names for the Satsuma. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it grows my channel and it's really supportive. So thank you. So yeah, this is Yidi signing off. See you guys.